We've got more transfer portal news out of Lincoln. Hi, Sean Callahan with HuskerOnline.com. Before we get to that, though, make sure you give this video a like. Let's get it to 500 likes. But now to the transfer portal news. For Nebraska, had a couple players enter the portal here on Friday. Uh, let's first start with probably the most significant one of the two, Damian Jackson. And you, know, you might remember Damian Jackson's story. He's a former Navy SEAL, never played high school football before, was able to turn himself into a, a guy that played you know, on special teams and and uh, got on the field here and there over his time at Nebraska, uh, was going to come back for essentially what was going to be a seventh year of college. And uh, he's opted not to come back to Nebraska. And he's now in the transfer portal. Um, so it will be interesting to see what Damian Jackson does. You, you talk about what he's meant to the program. He came in as a walk-on with Mike Riley and was able to um, stick on with Riley. And then he was with Scott Frost as well. And just opting not to come back for that additional year of eligibility he has. Uh, but there's no doubt his impact to Nebraska has been huge as far as just the attention he's brought the program. ESPN's College Game Day featured Damian Jackson earlier this season and told his story um, about being a Navy SEAL and being out in combat and all the things that he went through to eventually become a college football player. Now, the other transfer portal news that popped on Friday, four-star wide receiver Latrell Neville. He's a 2021 recruit for Nebraska, um, you know, joined over the COVID season uh, with the Huskers and, you know, was never anyone that Nebraska could technically even see in person. So he was a guy that they were on and it looked promising, uh, but he just found himself in a log jam. And Latrell Neville was never really able uh, to get on the field and be a contributor at Nebraska. Um, and he was not going to be in the mix this year. So this one doesn't really surprise you. I don't think when you see a guy like Latrell Neville go into the portal, you're just going to see more and more of this, especially with the transfer portal and the impact that it's had on college football. For HuskerOnline.com, I'm Sean Callahan.